Hey guys, Zarak here, and today we're bringing you guys the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents. We just wiped out again to Nora. Nora's now 2 1 up against us, but we are going to beat her this time. I have ideas of how to beat her now. Sand Sludge actually nearly came in clutch, uh, knocking out Floet in two hits, knocking out Celebi, but unfortunately fell to a Swad Loon. So, Burn OP, you are going to have to be so damn good at this. If Burn OP can kill the Hon Edge, switch out for whatever, uh, whatever comes in, um, and then can come back for the Swad Loon, it basically kills two Pokemon. So, this isn't by any means going to be easy, but it isn't by any means going to be over. So, it does do a bit of damage there, which means we'll probably have to sack off something or use something. I'll probably use Sand Sludge to heal it up at a later time. Uh, it might actually even level up here, which it does, level 28. So this time we are going to beat it. Yes, I am going to change Pokemon. I am going to change into Hacks. Alright, this time we're going to beat the Celebi with no issues. We'll probably lose Hacks, but Undead should then come and clean everything up. So we get a free Dragon Rage off there. Alright. We'll basically be able to get two, another Dragon Rage off here. And I'm actually going to hope, I'm actually going to use a, another, I'm going to use the fresh water here. It still does the same. All right, uh, yeah, so we're going to use the fresh water here. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping that now, if I don't, hopefully I don't die from a high roll. I don't, so this Celebi should be done. There should be no problems anymore. Celebi is gone. That is a very big relief. Hax is going to level up here. Probably le need to level up twice. Uh, let's go try a false swipe. Um, what moves has we actually got? It's got scary face. We'll get rid of that. I don't think I'll use false swipe. But false swipe is very good for catching Pokemon anyway. Um, Hax might even get... No, it's going to... Alright, it's going to set out a Quilava. So actually, this is where Pig Rock can finally shine. This is actually going to be the run, guys. Alright, we're actually going to beat it this time. Uh, beat her this time. So it's going to use a quick attack just to get that little bit of damage off. It's only four damage. Not too bad. Um, so we will beat her this time. Alright, this will be... Uh, it might actually be a free code because of that defense curl. Uh, no, it isn't even a free code because of that defense curl. It's just a two. So, Quilara goes down. Pink Rock will probably over, uh, level up as well here. It does level 26. Uh, so, I'm going to send out Floette. Uh, we are going to change Pokemon, yes. And we're going to change to Sand Sludge just because Sand Sludge can suko it. I know I probably shouldn't be using Sand Sludge uh, because it's not actually part of my team. Uh, I might actually put it as part of my team though because um, Sparky isn't exactly the best. Um, I mean, nor is Sand Sludge, but it, it's actually doing work right here. It's just going to get rid of this Floet. Alright. It's going to put Grassy Terrain out, which kind of sucks, but it's only a Swad Loon that will probably come in next anyway, so. Sand Sludge will get all XP. Nom nom nom. Alright, we're going to switch from a sw um Sad Sludge to Burn OP, and this time, she is going down. We're going to beat her. Here we go. Wish comes true. I don't even think she used a Wish. I thought she used just Grassy Terrain, but she might use Wish on the first turn. Doesn't really matter, though. We're going to use Flame Wheel. We're going to end this battle right there. Done. Third time lucky. I just had to know a team and get a little bit of training off her, but... Uh, even with Celebi, I can't win. Actually, it's 2 2 now. So, uh, wow, it was intense. I'm starting to get convinced that prophecy was about you instead of me. I wish I were, a I were able to read it. That way, I could know for sure. Anyways, I need to talk. Uh, I need you to talk to Damien. He seemed trustworthy, so I told him about Celebi and Mew. But I think uh, I fully understand to him just how important it uh, was for him to shut up and not talk about it. Would you mind doing that for me? Last I heard, he had himself to Vipic. 
challenge Xavier. I will do it myself, but I have other things on my mind, so you're around. So that battle was literally just to tell me that the fucking little kids might spoil our secret. Really? That is all that battle was for? Okay, so... I'm not going to put in Sand Sludge for now, but I might take Sparky out, but just because Sparky's so bad. But, we're going to put Sparky back in for now. So, we finally, 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 finally beat Nora. Took us three tries, but whatever. We're now 2-2 two -two up. Well, not 2-2 two -two up, but 2-2 two -two on a draw uh, with her. And I'm actually going to go and quickly get some super potions and stuff, because I think I brought uh, you some there. So I'm actually going to see how many Pokeballs. i uh, buy one Pokeball, just to get on 10, just because I want to be on 10. Uh, nice round number. Uh, great Balls were on 11, Potions were on 11, Super Potions were on 11, Repels were on 11, Antidotes were on 10, I think. Ice Heals, I think, were on 10 as well. Paralysis Heals, we are on 10. Awakenings. We are on 10, but heals, we are on 11, escape ropes, we're only on 3, so we're actually going to buy 7, oh shit, I accidentally exited, we're actually going to buy 7 of these, just because I like 10, 10's a nice number, uh, also means that you're ready to go. So, now we can go and head to the south part of Mechie Town, and then Vipic, I believe it was, to verse Xavier. Um, so that will be pretty, pretty damn fun, I think. So, let's go and explore the rest of the town that we weren't allowed to explore. Uh, how do people with daycare not know what's going on in there? Do they never learn about Starly and Beedra or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired. Uh, I heard there was a sect of rangers somewhere in this region. If I knew where they were, no, I'd love to join up. So, how do I not know after all that years that they're fucking? <laughs> Sorry for not being a PG, but I ran all the way here from the Kanto region. I can't feel my feet. Jesus, from the Kanto region? Whew! That gotta be far. Uh, hey, check this out. If your Pokemon with fame, when taking damage, just I don't know, live on HP. Focus Pan, yep. Uh, or Focus Sash. I thought, year four, I met Focus Sash. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, this town was named after Mechi, one of the gym leaders uh, here when the region was first founded. She had a fairy type gym. She went undefeated as long as she was here. She retired eventually and we know the town after her because of her winning streak. In place of her gym, we built secret races to sell to newcomers. Why don't you try buying one? So I have to buy secret bases, really? They're going to be like nine grand or some crap. I wish I had a girlfriend. I am the exact same as you, mate. Um, my favorite Pokemon are grass types. You know, if you ever want to try using grass type, this may help. There, thanks for the miracle seed. Probably won't ever use it. Um, but, yeah, I wish I had a girlfriend too, mate. You're not the only one. You're not the only loner. So, don't worry about it. Uh, in my opinion, the best Pokemon are the ones with the best move sets, like Smeagol. He has the biggest moves of any. No, technically he only has one, which is Sketch, but he can then use any move. Uh, a lot of travelers find this town tricky to find their way out of. You're actually supposed to go south down the river. Uh, I've been living here in Mechi for as long as I remember. Back then, our only source of food came from the berry patch. Then we learned to farm a fish. Our town has only grown since. Holy load of Spiro here. Are these all berries? Oh, we can't pick them. God damn it. I thought I could pick them. Because he said about berries. Do we go in here? No, we don't. Oh, God. No fuck or shuckle. Uh, will you be using Deke? You might find it's useful. Hey! A destiny knot! <laughs> Uh, how you master the Pokemon genetics? Yes, it tr does it transfer IVs or nature? I forget. I uh, wish I had a boyfriend. Uh, well, you two should kiss. Um, so this is the daycare with a lot of eggs on top, which is hilarious. So actually, at the moment, we're not going to be using the daycare. So we're going to go south down the river. Okay. Oh, water type. Water type. Man type. Man type. And Burner Peace is going to run. We're going to pussy out of that one. So, now we're going to have a look at our Pokemon again. Uh, 846, 1 1. Uh, basically, still everyone but Burner P is nearly leveling up. 
So we're actually going to switch to rolling here and I'm hoping that rolling can start getting levels because I kind of want rolling to evolve into a bold or soon. Uh, Alright Kier, show me what you got. I will, no problemo. I'll probably lose against you, but whatever. Uh, so you're going to set up a dust school. Uh, I'm going to use Rock Blast. We're just going to see what happens. It's going to use Pursuit on me. Pursuit doesn't really do much. Rock Blast does more than a Pursuit does. Um, still not much, but it does a little bit more than Pursuit. Uh, we're actually going to keep using Rock Blast, actually. It's going to use Willow Wisp, so it's going to burn me, which means my physical attack is also going to go so, so weak. Um, and now it's going to use Shadow Sneak. And basically now our Rock Blast do so little damage against this Duskull. Um, but we're just going to keep whittling down right now. Uh, I believe we can survive this attack. And then, Okay, we can't even hit it. Uh, because our 95% accuracy is now being hindered. Um, so we're going to go into hacks here. I would go into Undead. But Undead has a risk of dying. Because... Oh, it used Pursuit! Oh dear. Why is the AI so bloody good on this game? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Dusko, you're gonna go down. Uh, Hax is just gonna eat up all that XP then. Uh, it's gonna send out an Omanyte. Uh, we're not gonna change Pokemon. We're gonna use Dragon Rage. Gonna use roll out on me. I'm gonna use Dragon Rage again. I'm just gonna get all that XP for hacks with no problem whatsoever. Hacks is gonna go to level 25. And so I'm gonna send out a Kabuto. So actually, yeah, I'm going to change the Kabuto. I'm going to, go to Pink Rock because Pink Rock needs some XP. Pink Rock needs some love. Um, I actually don't know why I just switched in, bearing in mind that. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I nearly lowers my accuracy, really. So Kabuto's plan is just to make me miss. Like that's literally Kabuto's plan is just to make me miss. Literally. It wants to take me down to 0.33. Too bad it can't. So Kabuto is dead. Hm. Yeah. Hm. To you too. Okay. And now we've got to go all the way back. Because I kind of want to train up my rolling. Alright, there we go. That totally wasn't the way of laws of physics, but whatever. Why is the Pokemon Center all the way over here? No, right, god damn, it's so far. Okay. So I'm gonna heal up there. Uh... I'm guessing you buy secret bases downstairs, so we're actually going to go see how much a secret base actually is. No, apparently you can't. Apparently it's not here, don't know where it is then. Where the hell do you buy secret bases? Because I swear I've been in every single house. I spoke to every single person. I swear I spoke to every single person. Yeah, I've been in here. I've definitely been in there. I've definitely been in there. Unless you go up the waterfall. I'm guessing you might have to go up the waterfall, actually. Or down here. So we didn't go down here. Greens, you know who I am. Allow me to tell you, I'm known as a secret base manager. There you go. Transform all around the world. I just say secret bases. You know, you can do a lot of things. You can decorate it. Plus, these are even hire people to work for you there. You can visit your friends if you want. You can lay traps. Yes, 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 yes. Five fucking grand. Not, not yet. Not yet. Maybe in a bit. Especially as the friend safari bit kind of intrigues me. Uh, I'm not even sure if the servers even work on here yet, uh, still. I think they shut them down, just like they did with Uranium. Feels bad, man. So. Yes, I would like to surf. 
And we're going to keep going down and down and down. That's the tentacle. And I can't escape. So basically, I've got to go right back to the Pokemon Center. Oh dear. Well, back this way. <laughs> Maybe I should actually, you know, put a uh, Burn OP up front first for now. So everything's so weak compared to Burn OP is actually ridiculous. Burn OP is going to be like level 29. I think I'm going to have to do water training with Sparky. So actually that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to put Sparky up front rather than Burn OP. So I can train Sparky because Sparky needs a little bit of training. Just a little bit of training. Why do I switch it there? Why do I switch it there? Also, why is my team fully female? That is hilarious. My team is all female. My team is all female. Wow. You couldn't write that one up and I did not mean to just catch females. I promise. Why am I going this way? I'm so used to wanting to go that way. Alright. Instant that brass pack is vibrating, yes. And then we'll go to and of course then I don't get any. Okay, we've got an old grandma. It looks like she'll probably be a psychic type trainer. But we're gonna switch to rolling here first. Rolling is taking it easy. Don't tell us personally, it was the spirits that called upon me to defeat you. Okay, spirits. Come at me. Alright, Litwick. Litwick has Nightshade? Apparently Litwick has Nightshade. Oh, of course it doesn't kill. No, well, I'm gonna because I just can't be asked to run back, and I want that all the XP. I actually still think I might die here. I do. Damn it! I wasted that. Should we give Sparky all this XP then? Yeah, we'll give Sparky all this XP. Sparky can have all this XP then. 523 of it, or of that juiciness. Uh, yes, I'm actually going to switch, and we're going to switch to undead here. And then we're going to use Confuse Ray. It's going to use Hex Survive. Nope. Mm. Our team is so under leveled, it's ridiculous. Dies here. We might wipe out here actually. I'm going to have to go to burn OP. This is so bad. Our team is so under leveled. But I haven't got time today to train. <laughs> Which sucks. Okay, Drift Blim goes down. Burn OP is going to level up to level 29. Just gonna try and learn takedown as well. I uh, believe we have, have tackle still on here, so we're gonna get rid of tackle for takedown. You know, we probably won't use takedown, but still there as an option. And now it's gonna have Rotom. Um, so. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Sparky. Yeah, you use Confuse Ray, which means that Sparky's basically already dead. 
Why is Sparky so bad? It hurts up its confusion. Sparky just sucks. Let's go keep using Shockwave. I snap out my confusion to use a weak as fuck Thundershock. Now it's going to use Uproar, which kills me. So now we're going to have to go burn up here again to try and clean up. Otherwise, we wipe out. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of training. In this episode, the problem is I haven't got enough time to like do like loads and loads of training. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna play. Probably it's nearly. I'll probably record for like a normal 45 minutes actually. So bear with me, but slow training. Next episode will probably be a hell of a lot of training. Alright, I lied, they were not spirits, I was just hoping to beat you. But yeah, we're gonna have to train so, so damn hard. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Sparky. We're actually gonna stay in the water here and we're going to go with Sparky to train up. Um, and hopefully soon we can get like Baldor, um, roll into Baldor and whatnot. And Undead a little bit higher up. Because we've really not given that much love to Undead. I like basically left him in um, left her in the back pocket. So that kind of sucks. But Alright, so we're going to actually switch to Sparky here. Is Sparky even just get another move? Like, a move that actually is good? It would be perfect, but... So Hags has got to level 25, which is nice. But when I'm versing like level 28s and stuff all the time, you know, I kind of need my team to not be level 23. So I'm going to see what's up here. While we train. So I guess we're going to be like Krabby, Tentacle, Mantike. They're only level 15 in town, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to go out of the route a bit. Out into the route. Because this is not going to give us much XP at all. 124. So I'm just going to see what's up here. Apparently just the... Yeah, I've got a dive bit here. Spikes means to try to tell something to their eyes. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me with your eyes. Probably that you're fucking shit. Alright, tentacle. Level 19. And a crit here. Knocks it out. Tentacle. Spike in 208 XP. There we go. Alright, if we go to the root. See what we can do on the water. Can we literally dodge most of the route by going on the water? What the hell? We can, that's the bad thing, we can. Please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill. Guys, Corsola, I'm sorry, I did like you, Pink Rock, but you're being switched out. Mudkip is my second favourite starter Pokemon. My favourite being Chimchar. I need to get this, I need to get this, I need to get this, I need to get this. I'm going to fucking throw a friend ball at it, man. I'm even going to call it the name, the nickname I called it back when I first ever played Ruby. And it was only because of one of its moves. Alright. 
I, for some reason, always used to call my mud kips and then go to a swampert muddy because of muddy water. Muddy water used to be my favorite move. I don't know why, but mud kip, muddy the mud kip. We have muddy the mud kip. Yes, we must get a hell of a lot of XP from that as well. We have muddy the mud kip. So we're gonna call that muddy. And it's the same level as Pink Rock as well. It might be like one level less, but it's one level less, but it fits in with the team. So you can skip most of the route by just going on the water, which is hilarious. But okay, it's just gonna be like level. No, it's level 24. So we're gonna have that in our team. I accidentally used Tail Whip. I don't know why I used Tail Whip. I used Tail Whip. I used Mud Sport, which isn't actually good for me. So I also used Spide, but. Ooh, actually, this is pretty bad. This is actually really, really bad. I've just killed Sparky. I've just killed Sparky. Yep, I killed Sparky. Oh, Bide. I love Bide. Bide is the best. I'm actually going to see if I can kill Mudkip with rolling. Highly doubt it, but we'll try it. It's going to Bide again, so... There we go. We do actually kill but, uh, my kit with rolling. So Ron gets all that XP. So we're actually now going to go back up and we are going to go and get muddy. And we'll do some switch of Rui. Actually, I won't switch the graphics for now. I'll leave that until the next episode. But I will go and pick up muddy because. I love Mudkips, I love Swampurts, and I love Marsh Jumps. So actually, I believe it's at the level where it evolves straight away into a Marsh Jump after the first level. So I'm actually going to try and level that up to get to a Marsh Jump. And Swampert isn't too far away either, so... I think the only thing that I will change, like, if I found Starwise, is Chimchar now. If I can get a Chimchar in my team, so I can get an Infernape... Because Infernape is like my favourite starter Pokemon. It's actually my top, one of my top five Pokemon out of all Pokemon. I'm 721. Uh, the top being um, Zoroark, uh, Mewtwo, um, Infernape, Keldeo, and then loads of Pokemon going to like that fifth slot. So it's got Torrent as well, which is pretty nice. So. We're going to go, and we're going to switch out Pink Rock. Pink Rock, your time is done. Thank you very much for being on our team. But now we have Muddy. So I actually don't know where, when I'm going to be able to level up Muddy. That's the only problem because going on water isn't really going to be able to level it up very well. So we're going to have to see if we can find, like, Fire types or rock types, find a cave or something to train it up in. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna keep trying stuff. I wanna see how far you can get down this route. And hopefully I don't fall into a buy trick this time. Literally the only reason I didn't kill the mudkip was because I actually used tail whip. That's the only reason I didn't actually kill mudkip. Wingo? Okay. It's gonna go. It's gonna die. Bye bye. Sparky can get to level 24 in a minute. So that's gonna be nice. New level 24. How big is this route then? Okay, use four. So, how much thunder shots have we got? We've got 30 of them. We don't have any other move. We literally only have thunder shock. That's the problem. We only have thunder shock as an attack and move. Level 24, still no more attack and moves. That's an ultra ball, so I'm going to get that ultra ball. Wing goal, level 23. If I can like skip the whole route, get to Vipic, that would be nice. Go to Vipic. That would be really nice actually. Then we can just work our way back. 
So apparently that's the super potion. That looked like an ultra ball from. Uh... Okay, Sparky. I don't know why you love traveling with me. I fucking hate you, but whatever. How much war is there on this route? What the hell? Is that like a repeat ball? I think that was a repeat ball. Or a luxury ball. That's a luxury ball, isn't it? I think that's a luxury ball. So, Wingo, you're gonna go down. The only good thing about this is I am versing like level 26s, so... It means that Lapras is getting... Could be a timer ball. Tire ball, luxury ball, or um, repeat ball. Tire ball. I knew it was one of the three. I still love that, the instant lap brass pack. Okay, and this should be Vipic, right? It is! We are in Vipic City! You can literally skip the whole route. I don't think that's bad, that's very good, but you can skip the whole route. So, we will just heal up here real quick so it saves us here. I'm actually then going to hit a quick save because I haven't actually saved since last episode. So, we're actually going to hit a quick save there. Uh, the dump in the corner of the town so it's Terrible, I don't know how anyone is able to live here. Like I said, it did not look nice though. Go see if there's anything new in this Pokemon. Because sometimes they change. Nope, nothing new. Nothing new. So, gonna go down. Uh, wow, this town smells terrible. Whose idea was to put a garbage dump in the middle of town? Yeah, I have no idea who, but I'm not actually going to explore much of this town because I don't want to have like what we have with Nora. So, living in Vipic City is an absolute nightmare. We have a dump here for garbage. More of a region of the stench carries over everywhere. I remember last month it got so bad we all had to carry gas masks for a week. Holy shit. I need to chill on that then. So, you're a sailor, so I'm going to verse you. The route is a dream for a sailor like me. There's water all over. Yeah, no, I literally just skipped the whole route. So... I'm hoping that you have like really, really easy water types to beat. So sparking this E all this XP up. It's gonna be a two coat. It's gonna hit me on a revenge. Which actually means that I basically die. So Sparky will gain XP. Probably gets level 25 there. It does get level 25 there. So I'm gonna send out a Basculin. So no, I'm not going to switch. I'm going to hope that I can kill it with one Thundershock. And nope, it just takes me down. Just, bye, have a great time. So, rolling ain't going to be able to do anything. We're going to see if we can beat him with Muddy. Come on, Muddy. Let's see what moves you've actually got. You've got Mud Sport, Rock Throw, Bide, and Foresight. So actually, it has shit moves. Uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm actually going to Bide. I think Bide is going to be the best move here. In fact, I don't even know if I'll be able to get Bide off. I don't even get Bide off, so... Muddy isn't exactly the best in terms of attack at the moment, which kind of sucks. So we're actually going to go to Undead here. Let's see what Undead can do. We're going to Confuse Ray for a start. Crunch is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. It's actually going to Oko us as well, so... This proves why we shouldn't be versing these trainers yet. Uh, because we are not ready for him. We are certainly not ready for him. Um, at all. So we're actually going to go Dragon Rage here. It's going to use Takedown. It's going to do quite a lot of damage actually. I don't think Dragon Rage is going to get very close to beating it. Ooh. It's going to use Takedown again. So Hax goes down. Basculin's close to being dead now. So I'm going to try and get Roland and hope that Roland can survive long enough to whittle it enough. So, come on. You've got Sturdy, so I get at least one attack off. Um, it might be Burn OP getting all the XP again. It's going to be Burn OP getting all the XP again. If it can even survive. like Burn OP has to survive. 
and attack. Otherwise, it is wipeout number four? Five. Is it going to be wipeout number five? Yes. It's going to be wipeout number five. We're not doing very well at the moment. This proves why we really need to train Pokemon. This is why I'm also not doing a Nuzlocke of this. Um, okay, thank you. I also don't know why it says Excel. That's just weird. So we're going to actually try and avoid that Sailor. This time. There we go. We're going to, you know... I think we're actually going to head back. I think if we keep going left, we might be able to like head back a little bit. Nope, that's the end of the route, so. I really don't want to verse any of these trainers. I'm actually scared of versing these trainers, so. I'm actually going to surf all the way back. Because, yeah, we've been at Vipic. But, we kind of need to stay the, um, towards, um, was it Minda? Midna? I always forget the town names, so. The town we were just in, Mechi. Mechi, that's it. We need to stay near Mechi town. Because our Pokemon are too weak to verse anything at the moment. I have no idea how I'm going to train Roland. Uh, I'm going to have to really plan how to train Roland. So we're right back at the start of the route now. Got a Thundershock. You. I think we're just going to train Sparky up for the rest of this episode. Episode? What the hell? Episode. That's what we're going to do because get Sparky up some levels. Accident use Tail Whip again for some random reason. I can't remember what game it was, but I believe it was a fan game that I played. Where you could like set the moves and like if you didn't want Thunderbolt uh, to be f uh, the third move, so this move, uh, the move on the right, you can then change it to first move. So I uh, always just keep hitting enter. I don't know whether this one does that. I need to have a look. There's a lot about this game I don't think I actually know yet, but I need to really know. <laughs> so uh, we should be. I've done it again. Okay, so we're at the start of the route now. We're at the start of the route again. We should be able to get Sparky to level 26 here, which would be pretty nice. I just really want Sparky to get like an actual move that isn't just Thundershock. Please. Please. Alright. So I think it needs like three more battles until it gets level 26. Two more battles now until it gets level 26. So, I was obviously contemplating about putting Sand Sludge in. Now, the fact that we have Muddy, no need for that. I need to find out when it's going to be, if I can get it. Mud, um, mud, uh, Muddy Water. Because I believe Muddy Water is learned as a uh, Marsh Stomp. So. Speaking of Muddy, Muddy will be the way to get ourselves level 26 so Sparky is now level 26 there we go still no new move which super super sucks so we're now gonna go to undead we're gonna do some little bit of undead training just to finish off the episode here 
Gonna go into these patches of the grass, see what's in here. A Dudolo. Which is actually really good for us because that means we can just twister it. Uh, it does have pluck though, which kind of actually hurts. In fact, it very much hurts. And then it's got Pursuit, which means that it's going to basically kill us next turn. Uh, I'm going to just um, switch. I think we'll have to go to the route before to drain Undead and roll them because they're so weak. So we're going to get muddy here. Muddy's going to die. Mario's gonna literally die as soon as it gets in because of a crit. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to train things in the other route, which kind of damn sucks. So, I'm gonna go rolling here, see if we can beat him with rolling. It does two damage each to them, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Rock Blast is super effective. And we knock out the Doodoo. -Doo. And Dare gains that much. Rolling gains that much. So I'm going to go to Rolling real quick. See if we can get a kill on Rolling or something. But yeah, we're probably going to have to go to the up. I think next episode is just going to be a training episode. Ooh, Fur Fruit. We're trying to get this thing shiny on um, a Mega Ruby. Because it's just like pure black and it's so nice. Okay, it's gonna decrease my attack, decrease my defense. I think I still kill it before it kills me though. So I'm hoping I do anyway. I might not actually because it's just whirling down my attack. And my defense. It's just slowly, slowly defend, um, killing me internally. I believe this attack will win though. It does. Fur free goes down. Rolling gains 700 XP. Holy crap. We need to just keep Versa and Furfruits. So I think it's Sudorudo in the last route. And it's Furfruit in this route. We need to verse a hell of a lot of. So. And when we do that. We should hopefully be able to level up pretty damn quickly. Roo, roo. <laughs> I love that cry. Roo, roo. Let's try and chip it down a little bit. And then smack down. Let's keep trying to smack it down. It's still biting me. Stop biting me. Ow. I did six damage. Ow. It made me flinch. Ow. Okay, Rolling should get the knockout here, and it does. That means Rolling going to be level 24. 686 XP there. So I think we can go one more. We might have to. Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to use a super potion real quick, actually. That's what I'm going to do. And we got an Abra, so I don't think we'll be able to kill this Abra in one go. I highly doubt it, but nope, we don't even have a chance. I've actually just had an idea as well. Rare Candy on Muddy. Because Muddy will now evolve into a Marsh Stomp. 
No XP was wasted either because it just kept getting knocked out. So it's going to be a Marsh Stomp once it stops spinning. And there we go. We now have Muddy as a Marsh Stomp. So you lose your last rare candy. Yep, I know. Alright, and just to finish off this episode, I'm going to go to the uh, move relearner, I think that is, in the right of the t um, Poke Center. And I'm going to see whether I can, what moves I can learn with Muddy. Because at the moment, Muddy's not very good. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get some good moves on it. Because from the instant Labras pack, it means I don't get Surf. So, that just kind of sucks, so... Because Surf was one move I was used to have. I used to have, I think it was Surf, Muddy Water, um, Mud Bomb, and something else. I can't remember. So I think you're the move relearner, right? Oh, no, you're the name rater. And you're the move deleter. So I actually don't have the name uh, move relearner. So I'm going to have to look for that in the next episode. So anyway, guys, this has been Zarak. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As you can see, we have a pretty damn weak team. We're going to have to keep training um, and keep hoping. So anyway, guys, this has been Zarak. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new and join the content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, everybody.